the return of Ophiuchus brings in the expected revelation of a detonation on the surface of the star T Corona Borealis, located supposedly 2,600 light years away. Now, according to the Guardian News, it should complete its journey in a few days or to a couple of weeks where the explosions is said to make the star more visible. It is suggested that the best observations are from Sydney, Australia in the north where it will appear out of its highest point. To witness the Corona Borealis is to signal the arrival of Ophucus, the serpent bearer. Its light will shine bright for all to see. Allowing yourself to enter this phase will bring a very important stage of ascension. So as we continue the story of the stages of the brain, leaving from Gemini representing the two hemispheres, activating the summer, we then welcome the spark in the memory of the crab, also known as Cancer. In the ancient times of Egypt or Kemet, on the plates of the zodiac of Dendera, when we look a little closer, it reveals an interesting story. In the past, Ophiuchus is recorded, as we see here, between Scorpio and Sagittarius. In between them, we see at the top what looks like a lizard. The other symbol in the middle looks like a two-headed serpent. And at the bottom, we witness what looks like a phoenix. This fits perfectly as the cerebral spinal fluid would have left the crown and has to flow through the reptilian brain or the lizard brain, which we could say represents the first symbol. And its twisting action between the sodium and the chloride or what we see as the two-headed serpent, your second symbol. Their union allows for the flight of the phoenix, willed by Sagittarius, whom is the symbol that opens life. It beckons you to higher places, higher realms. For Sagittarius, life goes on a journey, willed by its fiery element. The half-man, half-horse, is aiming its arrow to the heavens. Sagittarius rules the pelvis and the thighs, where the sacral pump propels the cerebral spinal fluid to return through the spine to the brain. The pelvis area is likened to the lower nature and can be seen as the underworld. And we can see this example as in the place where we reside under the dome. And it also corresponds to the time where Sagittarius is seen on the cosmic clock in the fall months. According to the Gnostic text Pistis Sophia suggests the firmament is likened to the brain. And we can say leaving the firmament to fall into the underworld is also likened to the movement in the cosmic clock. On the zodiac of Dendera, they also show you the return of this chrism oil. What we see displayed as the crab by the ancient Egyptians or commissions, they truly revered the scarab. In Kemet, it was the totem of the soul. It represented resurrection and rebirth as a beetle that rolled the sun in the sky. That sun is magnified in the return of Ophucus, the serpent bearer, with seven activated chakra energy fields and multiple serpents surrounding it. We see one serpent wearing the crown as the other winding serpents take flight. Remember, this is your highest point of the heavens. Again, they show you this in the zodiac constellation of Ophucus. It shows you the crown over the serpent's head. Ophiuchus braces the giant hydra surrounded by multiple serpents. We see a familiar story with Hare Krishna. 
Hare Krishna, bracing the giant snake with his crown on his head, standing firm on his lower nature, as he braces the crown of sure victory, of the light of the mind. And just like the twelve labors of Heracles, they all tell you, as long as you keep your foot steady on the journey, you will receive that abundance in the light codes of knowledge. And Ophiuchus will then fit perfectly before Leo the Lion, whom at this point is now the illuminated state of the sun, rightfully entering the new year of Egypt or Kemet, and in the fiery return of the Sirius star system. Any being born under Ophiuchus the serpent bearer was known to be seekers of the truth, challenging conventional beliefs and exploring alternative perspectives. They hold the keys to unlocking profound insights to our higher inner selves. It beckons us to embrace the complexities of our nature, and they find balance amidst the chaos. This balance allows them to meet the great abundance in their journey. A short review of the return of Ophiuchus.